guys welcome back to our channel today we will be installing some DRLs into Ricardo's lights as you might know from previous videos he has some DRLs installed already but today we are going to change them from the normal white ones into color changing ones so what exactly we are going to do is so as you can see there's these normal white ones he has in the lights now and there's the color changing ones so while we busy this process 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 that's incredible English process we will stick you guys in the tripod and then probably do a time lapse of us taking them apart putting them together and then once we've done that then we will probably show you once it's on the car show you a final view of how it looks and then from there take it as it comes but yeah if you guys enjoy the videos and the content please don't forget to like comment and subscribe it would be much appreciated peace What's up? We are back at it again. Uh, the lights are basically all taken apart. Um, these lights need a little bit of extra work to clean up the lenses because I like he messed up with the previous eyelids, but that's alright. We just need to tape down the one side the reflection there is killing it, but this needs a little bit of extra glue to hold the DRL up because I'm trying to make sure that the DRL stays down no matter what. Because that was a previous problem that I had with the old lights and I want them to stay flat so I'm using glue and everything this shit is not moving but yeah so that one's busy there the other one is over here the DRL is also laying quite nicely um, I think that one's also still going to need a little bit of extra glue but we're going to see uh, we're doing most of that I've cleaned the inside and the outside of this lens putting it back together now I mean like I said glue that last piece and then this headlight's going to get ready to be closed and that should be it everything's just going to be wiring and then Last that touch would be the polish on the outside and the eyelid.
LMR. What's up? Day three, technically day two of actual working on the lights. Um, the lights are ready, basically. They have been sealed. Um, and they look a bit messy, they're still gonna do a still final layer of polish, so if they look a bit hazy, don't worry about it. We've sealed them, silicone, been drying since yesterday afternoon, so we're looking on a good couple hours now. Uh, apparently it takes about 24 hours to cure. I don't actually know, and it doesn't really say on the bottle. But let's hope. Um, DRLs and everything are looking good. The only part that's lifted is just a little bit over there, but I don't think it's that noticeable. I think it may be alright. I'm not too bothered if I'm honest. Uh, but yeah, they're looking really good. We're gonna start wiring everything up and get these puppies in. Eyelids are on, looking rather fresh I'd say, and uh, we've got our indicator light hanging out here, these are already set, I don't know what wire is what. I've got the power wire that's going to run them coming out of here, and then the indicator wire coming out of that little plastic grommet, not a grommet, it's like a little plastic shield, I don't know the terminology, it's that. This one is already basically in, uh, there's a bit more to do on this one. Um, I just need to run the indicator wire so that light still has to come out. I'm going to see if I can maybe get away with doing it without removing the light. But I'm going to put the driver side in now. Left part. Passenger side in. And then go. finished um, as you can see I've got the uh, DRLs in we're going for some crazy rainbow ones I'll probably throw up some shots so you guys can see some cinematics of them but they're basically finished uh, it wasn't too difficult the hardest part was probably cleaning the lenses again because the eyelids that I used to have on the lights sort of ruined the front of the lens and I tried to clean it off that adhesive that the vinyl left that was a bit annoying but after we got that sorted it's sitting really well so we don't have any issues Really happy with how they turned out. I think they look super sick. They've got all kinds of modes and who knows what. There's color flow instead of the flow. It's just you know general color fade. I don't know. You know I don't know what it's called. Either way, it's doing that. I even said to auto. Now it'll go through all the modes. And um, I just want to say thank you to KC Customs. I don't know if you guys have seen him on Facebook, but uh, I reached out to him originally because he has got a set on his Corsa and they looked really sick and you know most of the DRLs down here especially tend to always be just the white with the indicators and I thought the color was really nice and something different you know a nice fresh look for the headlights and I've been running the DRLs for almost two years now so I thought it was time for a little bit of change I kept with the same shape and everything so you can see how mine flaring up at the front there because I see most of the guys keep with the flat look I don't mind you know it's to each their own of course and uh, that was basically what we went for um, I'm going to leave a link to Casey's Customs and stuff 
or down in Facebook because he can do DRLs for you guys, anything like that if anyone's interested. He's actually really good at what he does and uh, if you guys haven't seen his stuff already, if you're a polo owner and you're in any of the somewhat local polo pages on Facebook, you should have seen his stuff by now because he's always posting. And rightly so, the guy's really good at what he does and he organizes and helps. So I think it's super sick what he's doing. And he helped me out to getting these strips. Uh, I obviously am a bit of a DIY guy myself, so that's why I'm not having him install the uh, um, the DRLs. Because, I mean, obviously I wanted to do it myself, but he still supplied me. And if you want something like this done, either him or I can help you with something like that. I'd say more so him, because this is something that he's doing, and he's a lot more passionate about it than what I am. But yeah, that's basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed, and that's pretty much it, eh?